Hey Colors! Welcome to my YouTube channel, Aileen here with a new poll tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to do the J. To get into this trick, we're going to go for an inversion, an outside leg hang, and then into the trick. So you don't have to be really flexible to do the trick. You want to get a very nice split there, but you can start practicing this split even if you don't have a nice split on the floor. So you can do just as much as you can, open up into the split as much as you can do, and just keep trying until you get better and better. So don't worry if you don't have a nice split because you can still try the trick and open up as much as you can and keep trying until you get it very flat and nice as you want it. So we're going to go into that inversion, outside leg hang, release those arms, hook nicely. From here, bring the inside leg forward, grab it with the outside arm, push it towards your face. Bring the inside arm under the inside leg, push the hip up and release the top leg out. Get it out straight up nice into the jade and then come back to the leg hang. Bring the leg back and you can bring the inside arm up on the pole to help you pull yourself up, back up and then down into the floor. So your grip point here is going to be your thigh that's on the pole. So make sure that before you take the top leg, you are gripping very nicely on that thigh. So you want to get on that leg hand very nicely. Make sure that you are hooked and secure. From there, when you bring the leg forward, you want to make sure that the thigh is gripping on the pole. The moment you bring the leg forward to grab it with the opposite arm, you want to push it very nice and tight towards your face and down so that it grips really tightly to the pole so pushing towards the pole and down into the floor so you feel the skin gripping in the pole once you feel that very nice grip you can start to release the top leg and you can take time to release the top leg so you can take the top leg just a little not taking it all the way out maybe just releasing it from the pole but not taking it out just releasing the grip so that you can feel comfortable and then step by step start taking the leg all the way out so just take time taking that top leg out take as much time as you need go step by step until you feel free to get out once you feel free to get out make sure that you tilt the pelvis forward basically towards the sky so you want to open up you don't want to be closing your pelvis because you're not going to be able to open up that split nicely if you don't tilt the pelvis so when you are on that position and you go out you want to tilt the pelvis so i'm going to show again from my inversion again make sure that you are very hooked nicely here the inside leg goes forward here is when you need to make sure that your thigh is gripping tightly on the pole opposite arm grabs the foot it pushes towards the pole and down into the floor to grip the thigh even tighter and then the hand under the hip and here's where I'm saying you can just take the leg like this so that you feel secure on the thigh grip and when you feel safe you can start taking the leg all the way out now here I am not tilting my pelvis so you see I'm not being able to open up the split so much but the moment I tilt I can bring the leg lower so not tilting tilting so make sure that you are tilting the pelvis to get deeper into that J another thing you want to keep in mind is that the moment that you grab that opposite leg you want to grab it this way if you grab it like this you're not going to be able to push it towards the pole and the floor very nicely so make sure that you are grabbing all the way through so that way you can push it much easier towards the pole and the floor. So really put all the thumb through, grab that ankle and push
push it down. Remember that you want to tilt the pelvis. So use that arm that's down pushing the pelvis and really make it push it forward. So you need to open up that pelvis. The moment that you put that arm down and you take the leg out to get into the split, you want to actually push that bottom arm into your pelvis to help you push the pelvis even more forward to open up and help it tilt it to get a very nice split. So make sure that you are using that bottom arm. The bottom arm is right under that hip to push it forward. I'm going to show it the other way around so you can spot how it goes. Leg forward, hand under the pelvis, arm grabs with thumb through on the ankle, pushing towards the pole and down on the floor, and releasing the leg, tilting the pelvis to get deep on the J. And bring it back on the pole, leg forward, arm up, and down on the pole. So as I said, the most important part here is gripping on your thigh. You wanna make sure you're very secure on the thigh. You're also going to be gripping on the armpit as you're starting on a leg hang, but most of your body weight is going to be on the hip. So even though that arm that's pushing the hip is also gripping on the armpit and holding a little body weight, most of it is going to be on the thigh. So make sure that the thigh is very gripped from the beginning, from the moment that you move the inside leg forward and you're going to position that arm on the hip and you're going to grab the opposite arm to that leg, you want to make sure that thigh is super secure and gripped. That's your most important part there. If the thigh is not secure and gripped, it's going to be impossible for you to take the other leg because the moment that you do, you're going to start sliding down. So make sure that the thigh is super, super nicely gripped. You might want to put some pillows or cushions or a mattress if you have on the floor to make sure that if you slide, you have something secure down on the floor. But you shouldn't need anything as long as you're gripping on the thigh. It's going to be a little difficult at the beginning, but with some tries, you're going to get there. So just do your best, give it some tries and just repeat as many times as you want to get there. Remember, it's all about practice. So don't worry how much time it takes, just practice and focus on doing things properly. I wouldn't suggest do more than five tries and make sure to do both sides. So don't do only your good side, do both sides. Even if the other side is not as easy or it feels like you can just get to the leg hang and don't even get deeper than that whatever just do as much as you can but do it so that you can work on both sides make sure you are tilting the pelvis so remember the moment that you take the leg out you have to actually push that arm that's under the hip so that arm under the hip is not just there for placement it's actually to push the pelvis forward so you have to help yourself with that arm to push the pelvis forward. So you don't wanna be here, you wanna be here. So that you're pushing the pelvis forward, tilting that pelvis to open up the split as much as you can. And remember that you're grabbing that leg, pushing it towards the pole to grip the thigh and down into the floor. And push it down as much as you can. If you can just push a little bit and you cannot get to the split, that's fine. Just push as much as you can. With time, you're going to be able to open up more and more. So don't worry if at the beginning you open up just a little. Just make sure that you're doing your best and that you are tilting the pelvis because that's one of the most common mistakes when you try to do the J, that you're not tilting the pelvis. So it's impossible to open up if you're not doing that. So make sure that you are. So again, most important things are gripping the thigh, also the armpit, but mostly the thigh, tilting the pelvis and grabbing the foot with the thumb through so you can push that leg as much as you can. Take it slowly, take your time, don't rush, do your best and have fun. That's the most important part. Try releasing all your tricks with control, coming back from your initial position and getting back on the floor with control, not just dropping on the floor. So you're actually engaging those muscles and working as much as you can to get the best outcome that you can out of your trainings. So I hope that you learned how to do the J and that you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications, 
drop in the comments all the feedback or questions that you have for me. I will be happy to answer them all. Share this video with everyone that you think will benefit from it. And as always, feel free to reach out on social media. I will be always happy to connect with you and help you in any way I can. I hope you all have an amazing day and I hope I will see you soon on my next video.